Uh, so my topic is kind of similar to Jordan's. Um, I'll be working on making a spatially generalized power average model for thunderstorms. Um, so kind of an overview. Uh, weather, um, weather related power outages are a significant economic impact um, in the US. And uh, thunderstorms are actually responsible for 59% of weather related outages. Um, but predicting thunderstorm outages in advance is very difficult um, and not much work has been done on it. Uh, so previous studies on power outages related to thunderstorms have kind of fit into two areas. Uh, one is explanatory modeling, uh, where they just take variables such as lightning, wind, rain, other things associated with thunderstorms, and fit them with an observed data set to try to say how much influence does lightning have on power outages and how much is wind, kind of break down different variables and how they impact uh, the total number of outages. Uh, the other area has been utility specific models. Well, we'll take some of that information and also information from a utility such as the specific location of lines, um, trees, transformers, and then use weather forecasts to make a prediction on outages. However, those are only um, useful when you have information such as the exact location of power lines, transformers, and the tree cover in that area. Um, so my research is going to be to try to create a model that can be used anywhere and forecast thunderstorm outages anywhere in the US. Um, so one of the ways that, or what I need to do to do that, um, is to first start with a utility specific model where I can use an observed data set and the exact location of power lines, transformers, other variables and get a good data set on um, how thunderstorms um, cause outages. Then um, use publicly available data um, in that area where I have good information on the power infrastructure uh, to kind of create proxies for, um, for the specific variables using public data. Um, then the final step in my research is to use scrape data from uh, utility companies spread all through the US to verify this model, since um, right now the only utility I have data for is in the southeast United States, and it's um, there's good uh, research Previous research has shown that vary, the variance in the influence of thunderstorms varies greatly depending on where you are in the U.S. as far as soil type, trees, um, as well as the uh, mode of thunderstorms you're looking at. Um, so why, why does this matter? Why do we want to do this? Um, this can allow uh, utility companies to better prepare for outages, as Jordan mentioned, and getting uh, either bringing crews in uh, that are off-duty, pre-positioning materials, stuff like that. Um, and also, emergency response. Um, this is very important for them to anticipate the uh, need for, from people. So if uh, you have a hospital that's going to be without power for several days, that's going to be a huge problem. You're going to need to bring in extra fuel for generators, stuff like that. Um, so, and also, why we need a spatially generalized model is because the utility specific data as far as the exact location of the power lines and stuff like that is very difficult to obtain. Um, as Jordan mentioned, uh, you have to convince the power companies that it's worth it to them to do it. Um, and also, when you're talking about the larger grid, there's some national security uh, issues with having all of that data um, in multiple hands. So 